This is Ryan with Competitive Cyclist, and this is the Yeti SB66. So what would you ask of it? Should it pedal well when seated? Pedal well when standing? Should it climb well? Of course, it should excel at all of the above. What if you could have those characteristics along with plush, confidence-inspiring descending through rough terrain? Interested? So were we. So we jumped at the opportunity for a test ride and it did not disappoint. Like all new Yeti designs, this bike began life at the Yeti headquarters in Golden, Colorado, where they do all their design and engineering work. In fact, they build the prototype versions right there in their own R&D facility. The importance of this is that Yeti can build them and they can test them nearly as quickly as they can conjure up a new design. The key element with switch technology on the SB66 is the turquoise eccentric that acts as the lower link for what is essentially a mini dual link rear suspension. And strange as it may sound, the eccentric rotates one way for the first portion of the travel, then switches direction and rotates the other way for the remainder. While this happens, the rate of change day growth changes and affects the way the bike rides. The end result is a no compromise trail bike that truly does it all. The SB66 pedals well on the flats and it goes uphill like crazy. You can hammer down in the saddle and feel the suspension moving independently of your pedaling forces reacting only to the bumps in the trail. And when you stand to accelerate or stomp up the steepest pitches, it just goes forward. There's no wallow or up and down motion to make you feel like the bike is robbing you of your power. There's an element of anti-squat built into the rear suspension that counteracts your body's movements. Because of this, the shock can use a light compression damping tune so that it can still react to those smallest bumps. In fact, we ran the RP23 rear shock in the open setting for the duration of our test rides. With switch technology, you may only ever want pro pedal on a long paved or gravel climb. When the trail tips down, the quality of the ride is just as good. Without an overdamped rear shock, the suspension is super active and what we felt was that it helped us keep the tires planted so we could ride in control over nastier trail surfaces. And remember that change in the rate of chain stay growth thing we mentioned? Well, as the bike absorbs bigger bumps and you push deeper into the travel, this rate drops off because of the direction switch in the eccentric. At the same time, the leverage ratio ramps up and what you get is full travel with a very cush, bottomless feel at the end. We figure you'll be paying for 152 millimeters, so why not use all of it? So, the SB66 really rips. It doesn't matter if you're going up or down the mountain. You'll find yourself liking the way the rear suspension feels as long as you've got your sag set correctly in the 25% range. And it wasn't just the rear suspension that we loved. The cable routing was excellent, and the bike uses a direct mount front derailleur, tapered head tube, and a 12 by 142 millimeter through axle in the rear. All these things eliminate headaches when you build the bike, and they increase performance. After all this gushing about the bike, you might wonder if there is a downside to Yeti's new SB66. From a performance standpoint, we'd have to say no. This aluminum version does weigh seven pounds, so if you're a diehard weight weenie, and if you lose sleep at night over a few grams, you might not be able to live with yourself or the SB66. That is, until you wait a few months for the carbon fiber version. And you can expect that it will shave a full pound from this alloy model and will give you the same super high quality suspension performance. Thanks for taking the time to watch this review. If you have any questions about the Yeti SB66 or any of Yeti's other models, feel free to call us or send an email to sales at competitivecyclist.com.